Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we are taking a closer look at the Quantum Par 220 Watt from Four Seasons. Now why would you be in the market for a Quantum Par 220 Watt grow light? So you're basically looking for something that's going to offer a little bit more grunt and a little bit more coverage over the smaller Quantum Par 100 Watt grow light. Well you should definitely consider this panel. Of course these Four Seasons lights are all using the very best as far as technology goes. You've got your Samsung LM301H diodes, of course that's your horticulture division diodes, best of the best, and we've still got that really efficient meanwhile driver powering the system and a fully passive design. But there's more specs and features to come along the way. So let's actually take a look at the form factor of this panel. Measuring a full 60 centimetres long by 25 centimetres deep, it is effectively twice the size of a Quantum Par 100. Good to know when you're pushing a full 220 watts. Now I will mention the 220 is actually a slight step up over the original generation, which was only 200 watts. So definitely a nice improvement to see on this generation of panel. Of course, following the same design language as the entire Quantum series now, we're seeing the PCBs go right out to the edges, which is great because it means that our diodes are now reaching further out. What this means for you guys, and of course your plants, is a much more even and uniform lighting coverage. Less hot spots, more light coverage, better density. That's what we want to see as far as grow lights go. Now when we rate this particular panel, we ballpark it in the range of being good for about an 80 centimetre by 80 centimetre flowering range, up to about a metre by metre for veg growth. So let's break it down into the actual reasons why this grow light could be your next choice. When we take a closer look at the actual diodes constructing this panel, they have gone for the most premium option available being the Samsung LM301H series diodes, H standing for horticulture division. So we know they're up to the task when it comes to light quality, efficiency, and of course, longevity, because you want a panel that's gonna last a long time, especially when you're investing your good money. When it comes to a panel like this, on the front side of this, they have constructed it using 3000K and 5000K of the Samsung LM301H diodes. They have, of course, sprinkled in some 660 and 730 Osram diodes just to bolster the peaks in certain areas of the spectrum to enhance that flowering performance. Now, what you can't quite see is up close these diodes and the entire front surface of this panel is actually covered in a very fine gel coating. So that means that this is definitely up to the task when it comes to working in harsh conditions. High humidity, high corrosive environments, these hold up extremely well. Moving on from the PCB surface, it is in fact bolted to this black aluminium heatsink that you can probably just see the edges of. That heatsink is six millimeters thick, thicker than the standard for the industry, which means for you guys, you're gonna have a cooler, more efficient running panel. This entire heatsink is in fact there to support the structure of the light, absorb the heat produced from the light and reject it, resulting in a cooler running, more sturdy panel. So a really nice thing to see when we're looking at the Quantum Power range as a whole, they have over specced the equipment to ensure you're getting a high quality premium grow light. Now on the back side of the panel, you're gonna notice two key components. We've got the Meanwell ELG series driver. The reason they've gone with Meanwells in this case is they are simply the best, which is of course very nice for us to see. The ELGs are gonna offer the highest efficiency, longest running performance, and of course, withstand that harsh climate with the highest IP rating. Next to that, we've got the dimmer module box. So that's got your analog dimmer on the front side, which you can manually adjust your intensity of your grow light. Two RJ ports, which we will cover later. They're there simply to integrate with master control solutions. Good for commercial growers, but probably not too, too much of a necessity for the domestic growers, but nice to know it's there. Of course, the interconnecting cables between these components are IP rated using waterproof glands. So really nice to know that this entire panel from front to back is built for the conditions. Now to wrap that up though, I do want to mention these panels are completely SAA certified, so that means they are completely safe and insured to work here in NZ, and they are completely backed with a five year warranty. So you know you are simply working with the best and you are assured that they are gonna definitely do the job. So now that covers the panel from front to back, but let's actually see what it looks like in application. So I'll just really quickly cover the included hanging equipment, which is very important for a grow light, of course. Now, with the Quantum Par series, they feature four posts, one in each corner of the panel. Now, those posts are simply there to connect your wire hanging mounts to, and then from there, you can attach the adjustable ratchet hangers. Now, the reason we love adjustable ratchet hangers is they are just so easy to work with when it comes to lifting and lowering your light, which is the most efficient way to use your grow light. If you can keep your LED grow light nice and close to your canopy at a lower dynamic setting, it is certainly more efficient than way up high turn to full power. Really nice to see. So we're gonna show you guys just how that all clips together and we've got a grow tent over here to show you what it looks like in application. 
Alrighty, so we've got it off the table and in an actual application. This is our Eclipse 80 by 80 by 200 tall tent. They are a perfect combination for each other, especially if you're looking for a really good flowering performance on a nice budget. So what we've done is we've just set this up to give you guys an idea of how it's all going to look. And what we've done is we've just situated it above the canopy, obviously, just for a reference point. But we want to give you guys the nitty gritty details because for a lot of people, it really does matter how they perform. Now, we have a Apogee far par meter. These are the best in the industry when it comes to actually sampling the output of the light and measuring how intense it is. Now, we will be doing some test results and having that pop up so that you guys know, but we also have a spectro radiometer that will be breaking out and sampling the actual output light and giving you guys a breakdown of the spectrum involved. Now that we're down here at the canopy level, you might think, gosh, how close should I have such a powerful light to my plants? Now, keeping in mind that you do have the dimmer to adjust the intensity, but we do have a very general guideline of about 45 centimetres from your canopy with a half power setting for veg and a full power setting for flower or short day cycles. Now, keeping in mind that you can adjust that way lower if you need to set it up for something like clones or cuttings or just general fragile growth that clearly doesn't want the intensity because to our eyes, it might not look that bright, but it really does add up for the plants below. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's take a quick sample of the light. It doesn't really matter where the dimmer setting is. This is just measuring the actual output quality of light and the actual wavelengths involved. So I'll just set this up and take a quick sample. Alrighty, so that's given us a full breakdown on the wavelengths emitting from this panel. Now, I'll give you an idea what that actually means for your plants. So when we've got a high emphasis of blues, what you'll see here, it means your plants are going to stay dense and tightly compact. They're not going to get stretchy or leggy, which is a very desirable trait. Now, when we move over to the other end of the spectrum, we've got a very high emphasis of reds. This is helping to trigger photoreceptors and ensure we're getting a very proficient and very good flowering result, which is just what we want to see from panels like this. So it does really encompass the whole spectrum here, full spectrum, it's in its name, and it does mean that you are going to be carrying your plants from seed to harvest without any issues at all, no having to adjust the spectrum, simply adjusting the intensity will do just fine. So that's a quick breakdown on the spectrum. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab the far par meter and give you guys an idea on what sort of intensity we're getting from this panel. So it's important for growers to know just how intense the grow light is, depending on the height, depending on the dimmer, and depending on the environment you're working in. Don't get me wrong, it would be nice if everybody had a par meter to be able to reference that, but in most cases, people don't. So what we've done is we've used our far par meter here from Apogee, and we've done up some par maps to give you guys some ideas, because it is very nice to know what sort of distance and what sort of intensity you're gonna be seeing at the canopy level, because don't get me wrong, it is nice to have a lot of light intensity, but it's not always the best course of action because too much can actually cause problems. Same with too little, but it is quite overwhelming how intense these LEDs deceivingly are to the human eye. So that's what these PAR charts are here to do, just to give you guys an insight into what the canopy is actually seeing and to help you understand and adjust accordingly. Now that we've referenced the intensity output from this panel, it would be nice to know how to adjust it. So in this particular case with the quantum power range, we do have the analog dimmer on the front side. That's going to give you stepped increments from 15% right up to 100%. Now, what you'll see is there's actually an additional setting called EXT, just beyond 100%. When you sit it there, it's going to reference external control. What that means for you guys is the input and output ports are now active. And using the included cable with the package, such as this one here, it will connect your LED grow light to something such as this, which is a master controller. Now this will work, uh, this light will work with this controller and it will also work with something like a controller 69 from AC Infinity via the use of an adapter. Now what this means for you guys is you can connect your grow light directly to this controller and this controller will manage the entire thing. On off cycles, sunrise, sunset, and not to mention daisy chain compatibility because what you would do is connect from the master controller to the input of this light and then you are now able to connect from the output to the next grow light. Ideally you want to use the same grow light to keep the adjustments the same but for people it's really good who are working with multiple grow lights. You just link them all along, one single controller will manage the entire grow space. So if you're in the market for a top tier quality grow light, the Quantum Par 220 water should certainly be at the top of your list. Knowing this light is using high quality industry leading components combined and backed with a five year warranty, you know this grow light is going to perform and meet you and your plant's expectations. I hope we've answered any questions you had throughout this video, but if there's anything we've missed, please get in touch with us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.